Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd film a very vampy, glam fall look for the fall season. I know I'm a little bit late, but I think it's still a perfect time to show off these very glam, very dark, smoky looks. So if you want to know how I got this look, then please keep on watching. So for my face, I'm going to start off by applying this gel moisturizer from Pixie Beauty. It's called the H2O Skin Drink. It has kind of a gel consistency, but then melts down into like almost an oily consistency, but good enough to put on primer on top of it. And then for my eyes, I'm using the Olay Eyes Ultimate Eye Cream. This helps with depuffing your eyes and also helping with wrinkles, and I apply this twice a day. Then for eye primer, I'm using the e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer, and then just buffing that out with the Crown C517 brush, and then setting it using the Sonia Kasha brush with my RCMA powder to get it ready for other shadows. So for eye shadow today, I'm primarily going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette. The first color I go in with is Silk Cream, but I probably should have used MFEO, the one right next to it. This is a little bit more of a warm tone, and I kind of wanted to stick to cool tones, but, it's, but it still worked pretty great. And I used the Morphe M330 brush. Then after that, I went in with this Crown Really Fluffy brush and with the shade Pooter, which is right underneath Silk Cream. Just buffing that in circular motions, focusing more so on the outer edge like I usually do. Then using the M441 brush, which is a little bit smaller, I went in with Buns, which has more of a reddish undertone to it, but has a little bit of purple in it as well. And I'm using this to kind of mesh all the colors together, but to really get the crease more defined. After that, I take my M573 from Morphe in the color Jax, which is going to be one of the darker colors that we're using, focusing on that in the outer edge and getting that deep V going and also kind of pressing this into the crease to get everything more defined. It's a little bit more of a dome shaped brush, so it's easy to get into all those areas while really buffing out the crease colors on top as well. After all of that is buffed out, I then go in with Yes, the Subculture Palette from Anastasia and the shade All Star with the Morphe M433 brush and pack it onto the outer edge. I find that packing on the colors from the Subculture Palette, especially the darker ones, is really the best way to go. And then once everything is packed on, then you could kind of softly blend it out. blending, I then take the shade Rowdy, which is the darkest shade, and I press that into the lower lash line with this brush from Victoria's Secret. It really doesn't have to be a specific brush, it's really just more so for packing on and then softly buffing it into the outer V of the eye, and then just making sure you smooth it all out onto the lid as well. Then I just take your average black eyeliner and I smudge this into the upper lash line melting it with the color Rowdy. And then I blend out that black eyeliner a little bit with my e.l.f. Precision brush. Taking a little bit of the Rowdy color on top of it. And then really packing it on again with the Victoria's Secret brush that I used earlier. And this is where it really starts to get blended out and more smoky. And then I take Rowdy on the opposite end of the C163 oval fluff crease brush that I got from Crown Cosmetics and I just mesh all the colors together. For the bottom Renaissance palette I really just use the shade Vermeer for the inner corner and blending it up into the crease and then on top of the dark shadows that we blended down on the lash line. I 
just go ahead and curl my lashes and I'm using the Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara from L'Oreal. And then the Ardell 811s are the lashes that I'm using with this look today because they really fan out on the outer corners and help to really define the outer V of the eye and give it that smoky definition. Next it's just time to do the other eye and I will do that off camera. Now that both eyes are completed, I'm going in with the shade Cube from the Subculture palette. And this was kind of an odd uh, color to use because when I packed it onto the uh, upper brow bone, it didn't really do much. It only had like kind of a sheen to it, but I still wanted to do something that added a little bit of a pink sheen to the look. Then for primer, I'm using the NYX Angel Veil Primer, and this is going to give me more of a matte base. And then I spritz my face with the Photo Finish Primer Water from Smashbox. Then, uh, before I do foundation, I like to use a concealer for my dark circles. This is the Maybelline Age Rewind in the shade Neutralizer. And it has a yellow base to it, so I could buff everything out. And then I'm using the same Crown C517 brush that I used on my eyes earlier. Then for foundation, I'm using the NARS All Day Luminous foundation. I think it's All Day Luminous and Weightless foundation. Anyway, I really enjoyed this for giving me a nice flawless base, and it really just does get better the longer that you wear it. It's kind of interesting and makes you look a little bit more refreshed and dewy without looking sweaty, obviously. heart shape tape in light sand to kind of brighten everything up under the eyes and also to kind of cut my cheeks a little bit. And I'm of course blending all this out with my black beauty blender. set my under eyes and then pretty much all the center of my face with my RCMA no color powder. Then for both bronzer and contour today I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit. And uh, on my cheeks, I start off for bronzer using a mix of Java and Havana, because these are the most, most orange tones in the palette. And I'm just using a e.l.f. angled blush brush to do this. And I'm kind of doing a new technique with this, where I swirl the brush a little bit, and then I buff it upwards so that I could really hug my cheek and create a nice soft contour with it. It kind of helps to make sure that you don't have any harsh lines. Then after that I go in with the shade Fawn using this cute little hula bronzer brush that I got from the Benefit Hula Bronzer Kit. It's really small and defined and really make sure that you chisel out your cheekbone. Next I'm using the Smashbox blush in Passion. This has a red-purple undertone to it, and I just softly sweep this across my cheeks, blending it into the contour and bronzer. Not going too crazy with it because I'm not the biggest blush fan, but I wanted to give a little bit more warmth to my face since the eyes are so dark. Then zooming back up, I'm going in with this Essence Kajal pencil in the shade White, and I'm going into the lower lash line, building up this color to kind of open up my eye a little bit. Then I kind of go reverse with all the colors. Um, I'm not using Rowdy, but I am using uh, All Star for this. And then I buff out some of the colors from the Jaclyn Hill palette. I kind of just mix them all together and uh, hope for the best really because I really don't care too much about my lower lash line just that it looks very blended out and it follows up to my upper lash line as well. And just taking cube on a flat brush into the inner corner. After that I'm just going to do my eyebrows off camera because I can't be bothered. 
Now that they are all done, I'm going to just do a little bit of highlighter. I use the That Glow Glow Kit. I'm not really even going to mention any names because at this point this palette is limited edition and out of stock, so I'm not even going to bother with it. I am trying to get the Sweets Glow Kit from Anastasia, but it just sold out, so I'm going to try to get that and make sure that you guys can actually follow along with the highlighter that I use. Uh, I haven't been able to find anything from the drugstore either that I like, so let me know if you have any recommendations. Now finally on to the biggest part of the look, which is the lips. I'm going in with Anastasia Trust Issues, and I'm going in very carefully with a very thin layer. What I do with the tip of the wand is I kind of scrape up all the excess and just have a very bare minimum left on the brush tip just so that I could get a smooth clean line because I don't really have any lip liners that go with this color right now. And I just blot and press my lips together to kind of get the most amount of color that I can so that I don't have to use as much. going to go in with the second coat just to kind of wrap up the middle of my lips but I kind of like the gradient color that it left how it's kind of red in the center and more purpley on the outsides so I kind of just left it at as is kind of giving it like an ombre look next as always I just set my face and this is the same primer order that I used before and then I fan myself off a bit and that is the finished look. I hope you guys liked this look and learned a couple of tips and tricks as always. And you had a good time with me. And have a great fall season. Bye!